Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. I write under the pen names Lyra Parrish and I am one half of the USA Today best-selling duo Kennedy Fox. And today I am opening my NaNoWriMo survival kit. This is a collaboration that I was invited to take part in. This is my second year doing it and I am so very excited. I've got my giant box right here. I opened it when it arrived, which was like two weeks ago, I am behind on life, real talk. And I was like, what is this? Cause I forgot that I had signed up. I pull the card out, which is like at the very top and I just started reading it. So I know who this is from. The card was right on top. It was actually this card right here is the one that I opened. It's got a little fox on it. I won't read you what the inside says, but I can just say that um, it was a very sweet note. And JC, I really, really appreciate the kind words that you said inside. I'm not going to cry. I'm gonna try to reel it in, but I can tell you that when I did read this, like nothing else, none of this, like none of this even matters. Like this was enough and um every time um it means a lot considering the year that i've had but anyway moving past that this is another card right here and i know that y'all can see it it says happy halloween to the fall queen so yes i'm that extra <laughs> I have shirts that say fall queen on them. If you all know, then you know. I love Halloween. Fall and autumn is like my favorite season of the year. It's my time to shine. But isn't this card beautiful? I love it. I love the way that it reflects. It says, hope you're caught up in a web of spooky fun. Other than these two things, I have no idea what is inside this box. And I am very excited to open it up because I feel like JC knows who I am as an individual. So like, it's gonna be good. I already know, I already know. Let's get in here. We've got our tissue paper. Oh, oh Lord, I have a candle lit over there and that just could have been really bad. What is that noise? Hot mess express over here. I literally put the box, I guess, when I moved it forward on my keyboard. I've only been awake for 30 minutes. So y'all are just gonna have to bear with no caffeine, Courtney. <laughs> Let's get started. This box is full of so many goodies. We've got some sticky notes. Be inspired. I love that. Stickers. You guys know that like I am in love with my bullet journal and pretty much all things foxes because of Kennedy Fox. So these will definitely <laughs> be put into my bujo for real. Next up we have this is a mouse pad. So I'm leaving to go camping tomorrow. That is how late this video is being recorded. I typically travel with a travel mouse and a keyboard. This baby right here is going in my travel bag and it will be with me during this week. So thank you. Oh my God, it's so cute. And we have Halloween socks. Ooh, we have some more. I love you, JC. These are longer socks and They've got witches and bats. Y'all remember that vine? Look at, look at, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. These are going to be great. Like I said, I am literally leaving to go camping tomorrow. I checked the weather and it's supposed to be in the 40s. <laughs> I'm not prepared for winter weather. When I hear like the 40s, I'm like, oh Lord, I've got to bring some high socks with me. So these are getting packed as well. We're just gonna pack your whole box with me to go camping. This is a box. I do not know what is inside of it yet. Guys, I am like a mermaid. I love all things like glittery and rose gold is like one of my favorite colors. Like y'all can see it in my office. Like there's rose gold stuff back here. And I love teal and rose gold. Look. How freaking cute. Well, I can't show you, but this literally matches my laptop case. I'm tempted to show you. Will I do it? I will not. I will insert a picture right here so then y'all can see like how great this matches. And then we've got some beautiful rose gold pens. I love these. 
Oh my goodness, I gotta open this plastic. I apologize for the noise if you're not into ASMR. I'm gonna look so fancy using this pen. Isn't that beautiful? They are rose gold scissors, and I can just say this right now. If you are doing book signings or anything like that, having a little pair of scissors like this is so helpful. And these are the perfect travel size. So you better believe that when I start going to signings again, these babies are going with me because they are literally the perfect size to, to travel with. Mm, and they're my favorite color. We've got this cute little canister. Okay. What's inside? I wonder what's inside. <gasps> A woman after my own heart. Check it out, guys. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. We've got our Morning Joe Dark Roast. <sighs> Coffee is such life. It says tasting notes, baking chocolate and dried fruit. I cannot wait to try this. Another thing that will be going with me on my camping trip. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love coffee. I love coffee. I'm going to stick it right back in there. That is a perfect fit. Like, I'm bringing that whole canister with me camping. This feels heavy. I need some scissors. Oh, look. JC, it's just like she knew that I was going to need some scissors for this. What's inside? You spoil me way too much, JC. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so adorable. Looky, guys. For fuck's sake. I love it. And it's got my favorite candy. Reese's, dark chocolate, Mr. Good Bar. Like, this is one of the cutest mugs ever. I love it so much. And I've started making, like, espresso at home. And I like to see the layers. And so it's clear. So this is going to be in some photo ops for sure. This says, to satisfy some of your 90s nostalgia. If you've been on my live streams lately and really listened to me talk about the 90s at all, it seems to be a common theme with me. I was a teenager in the 90s. I know that's going to date me, but I think back to that decade and all the coldness that it was because it was epic. And so I talk about it too much. But anyway, I'm so excited to see what this is. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Like, I feel like I'm 12 again and I am so freaking happy. Like, this right here is straight up 90s, guys. Oh, we gotta look, we gotta look. Yes, this is exact. Do you remember the folders like that you had in school? Look, if you don't know about Lisa Frank, I'm so sad for you. That's all I'm going to say. This right here is my absolute jam. And also these clicker pins. We've got black, red, blue, and green. You know, if you had one of these, it was like click, 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 click. And also when I was in school, just a real quick fact, we could only write in black or blue. They would not let us write in any other colors. So like this was literally the type of clicker pen that I had. This is awesome. This totally made my day. I was just checking that candle over there because I'm a hot mess. Oh, pumpkin spice chai. This is going camping too. I freaking love chai tea and I've not tasted the pumpkin spice, so I'm excited. It's about to be the perfect weather for some hot tea. We've got another package. <laughs> Thumbnail. And we've got some gel pens. You can never have too many pens, guys. We've got some scented pens. I love stuff like this. It's grape, blueberry, and strawberry scented. Oh yay! It's a pink journal and it's a bujo. That's my one from this year. I am so gonna use this. Like so next year I want to try to keep all of my sprinting in one place because my bullet journal is full of like journal entries and like sprints and it's just like a bunch of random stuff which I do like but when I'm trying to figure out how many words did I get for the year it would be hard for me to find all of that information and then I didn't do a good job adding it up so I was like next year I am going to have a specific journal for all of like my writing sprints and this one this one just got nominated so thank you I am totally gonna use this with all of my beautiful pins and stickers <laughs> 
Oh, I hope it's not breakable. I just shook it. I'm going to move this down here. You want to guess what's in it? It feels kind of heavy. So I really have no idea right now. And also I'm very bad at guessing gifts. Oh my goodness, this thing is heavy. What do you think it is? Oh my God. Yes. Oh, it smells like... Okay, so the smell is bourbon pumpkin. Okay. Have you ever had pumpkin cheesecake before from Cheesecake Factory? That's what this smells like. I really can't wait to burn this. And what's funny is when I set it over here next to my other one, y'all are really gonna see how long it takes me to record videos. Cause like I said, watch the wax melt. I am so grateful and happy and I love every single thing that you got, JC. Like you totally know who I am as a person <laughs> and exactly what I like. I just wanna say thank you so, so very much for getting me all this stuff. The Lisa Frank stickers, like I, I can't wait to start putting them in my bullet journal. I'm sure if like somebody ever found my bullet journal, they'll be like this girl. But thank you so, so very much. I love it all. And I'm so appreciative that you are a part of my life. I mean, that's the reality. I think that you're just genuinely kind. I feel as if you're always there and you're always just like that shining light. And so for that, I just want to say thank you. It's been a rough year for me. Um, see, as soon as I start talking about it every single time, but it has been a rough year for me and I've had kind of a hard time coming back to YouTube and making videos and just being present online, period. It doesn't matter which social media outlet it's been. I mean, you can just put them all in one big pile. It's been really hard for me to get back into that. And I can say that each time that I have shown up, that I have tried to come back and that I've tried to be present, and JC has been there. And I am so grateful that you are a part of my little journey on YouTube and that you're a part of what I consider my YouTube family. So all of this will go to very good use. If you are not following JC, like y'all should totally go and check out her channel. I will put a link down below in the description. I will put a link up here in the card somewhere if YouTube will allow me to do that. And I just think that she's a good person to follow and she is one of the best cheerleaders that there is in this community. So y'all go give JC a follow. Make sure that you check out the playlist for this. I know some people are like, oh, well, watching authors unbox things, whatever. Like, it's not your thing. That's cool. I mean, I try to talk about other stuff because that's just how I am. But you should definitely check out everyone else's videos and, and try to support each other. And maybe, you know, this kind of stuff isn't your thing. It doesn't hurt you to leave a comment and like someone's video. So if you are inclined, I will put the playlist down below as well. I cannot wait to see what my secret author Santa NaNoWriMo survival kit, whatever. I can't wait to see her open the stuff that I got. It's going to be a good one. Thank you, Jason for everything once again thank you guys for watching this video i have more stuff coming so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure you do that i will be in editing hell for the next two weeks a lot of you have asked me already when writing sprints will start up again and it will probably be toward the second half of november i am not participating in NaNoWriMo because i am under major deadline for books that release one releases november 16th and then there is a book that releases like the second week of December. So I am hardcore in the writing editing mode. All this stuff will be perfect because I am literally under major deadline life right now. There will probably be a week where I live stream every single day. I know a lot of you are participating in NaNoWriMo, which yay, I'm so excited for you. And I know that y'all are just gonna accomplish so much and write a ton of words. I hope y'all join me when I do go live again. If y'all have any questions, as always, please feel free to leave them down below and that's all I have. I hope you have an amazing, incredible week. You accomplish all your goals and you write all the words and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye guys.